Hey guys, what is up? My name is Drew and I'm here to talk to you about how to stay safe while traveling. So before I get into the details of the video, a little bit about myself first and why I'm qualified to talk about this. Uh, when I'm not traveling around the world or making videos, I'm actually working as an intelligence analyst and a lot of my job is to keep our employees safe. Because this is very much something that I do on an everyday basis, I figured I would make a video and try and teach you guys some of the tactics that we give to our employees. Uh, because many of them can be used by you as well. One thing I always uh, want to stress to our travelers is that yes, it's important to be safe. You should probably follow almost every single one of the guidelines that I'll be talking to you about today because many of them are not difficult and they're not hard. But you also want to make sure you enjoy your trip and your vacation and you're not worrying too much. If you go about making your trip worrying about every single little thing that could possibly go wrong, you're not going to enjoy it and get the best experience that you possibly can. Okay, so now that we're done with that, uh, let's get into some of the specifics. I'm going to start with things that you should do uh, before you go on your trip or the preparation that you should do to make sure you're safe while traveling. So after you guys have decided on the destination, the first thing to do is make sure that you know the entry and exit requirements for that country so that your passport is still up to date and that you've obtained any required visas needed uh, to go there. Um, keep in mind that to be able to even enter the country, even if you have a visa, you may need to pr show proof of uh, where you're staying or where you're going um, and your itinerary throughout the trip. Which brings us to tip number two, which is always make sure you have a copy of your accommodations, whether it be electronic or a hard copy. I like electronic. I like to either save it, have it available as an offline email or PDF, so this way I can always reference it, but it's not something that I may lose or accidentally leave someplace and then someone has my name as well as where I'm staying. One of the most important things is definitely to know the local customs and uh, how people live while there. So one, you don't stick out while you're traveling. That's one of the things you definitely do not want to do. So for example, in Latin America, um, many men do not wear shorts. So you don't want to be walking around in you know, Bermuda shorts and a big bright Hawaiian shirt because that's just not what many of the locals are going to be wearing. Uh, females, if you're traveling to the Middle East, you probably don't want to wear the same thing you might wear here in the United States or Europe. You might want to dress a little bit more modestly. Knowing local regulations goes a long way as well, so know when it's acceptable to drink alcohol in public, when it isn't. Again, that kind of varies depending on the location. It's also always a good idea to check the State Department website for travel advisories, as well as look at what vaccinations may be required to enter that country or recommended depending on what types of illnesses are in that country. You should also research whether the water is potable, it's acceptable for drinking, and what type of electricity is required for many of the devices. Sometimes it may, you may need to buy an adapter so that you can charge your electronic devices. While packing, make sure you pack any important items within your carry-on. That includes medication, documents, anything you feel like you may need, just so in case you lose your luggage, you don't lose the most important items you have. You should also never pack uh, extremely valuable items and you should always make sure you have a scanned uh, or photocopied copy of your important documents and credit cards. When you're out about and traveling, you should keep the original documents in your wherever you're staying, whether it be your hotel, hostel, or Airbnb, and keep the photocopies on you. This way, if you lose them, you still have your original documents. You should also make sure you know every single local emergency phone number and contact information. I recommend you save them in your phone. I carry around this notepad with me, which also has those numbers um, in it right here on a page so that I can, for quick reference, know exactly what they are. Uh, you don't need one of these, but if you're interested, it's the Voyager Traveler's Notebook and it's actually pretty handy. Know the health insurance requirements when you're there so that you know if you're covered or not. Um, this can include checking to see if your credit card has coverage. If not, maybe it'd be worth buying travel insurance. I should mention that I know that's recommended quite a bit. I personally don't do that. Um, my credit card does a pretty good job of covering me. And to be honest, I feel like uh, I can be smart enough to avoid things. That being said, it's definitely important to consider that. And depending on where you're going, it may be a good idea to purchase travel insurance. And finally, make sure you pack a small first aid kit or along with any medication that you may need. Um, these can be found pretty much anywhere, uh, any, any kind of big chain store, so whether that be Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, etc. Um, or you could kind of bundle your own. You could buy different travel size items along with some band-aids and bandages. Uh, this way you're equipped in case something happens and you don't have to go running around looking for a pharmacy. Maybe that pharmacy uh, would be closed because it's Sunday and most businesses are closed wherever you're staying. It's just good to be on the safe side and pack that. Um, if you do it right, it shouldn't take up all that much room in your carry-on. Okay, next we'll get to talking about money. 
um, which is another very important thing if you're going to stay safe while traveling uh, wherever you may be. Uh, first things first, make sure you check to see if your credit card information or your credit card company or type uh, are accepted there if credit cards are widely used there. Uh, many places in the world are still predominantly cash economies. And then make sure that you notify your credit card company or debit company that you'll be traveling so they don't shut off your card once you get there and they see a foreign transaction and they think there's fraud involved. For me, using credit or debit is a fine balance along with cash. Um, I try not to use my debit card just in case my identity is stolen while I'm traveling abroad. Uh, they can't just wipe out my bank account. Um, whereas if my credit card information is stolen, I, yeah, it's a pain, but I can shut it off at no additional monetary loss to myself. So keep that in mind. When traveling in a predominantly cash economy, um, I recommend if you're going to use an ATM, make sure you use one that's indoors or inside of a bank and not one that's out on the street. Um, if you're out on the street, you're obviously you're just a little bit more susceptible to um, either people that might want to do you harm or you know even if the device has a credit card skimmer on it uh, you never know it's always safer to use an ATM that's either inside a bank um, or even just go to a bank teller and, and withdraw cash that way. When carrying cash around with you always make sure you keep it separated across you uh, so if you have a money belt keep some in there maybe keep a little bit in your backpack um, and only keep a little bit in your pocket so that you know when you're going to pay for something you're not whooping out this wad of cash uh, instead, you have about twenty to forty dollars in your pocket, um, and, and you're paying with that. And then you can always, uh, you know, reach back in and replenish whatever you have in your pocket. So this way, uh, if something does get stolen, it's not everything that you had, and that you're not whipping out a huge wad of cash and making yourself even more of a target. Another important aspect of travel is definitely getting around a country safely. Um, so that means knowing the different types of transportation that are available to you and which ones are more widely used and safe. Uh, in that area, as well as if you're going to plan on driving a car, know the license requirements ahead of time so that you're not planning on renting a car and then find out either you're not old enough or you need an international driver's license or whatever it may be. If you are going to drive, uh, make sure you're smart on the roads. Um, take it slow. You're in a foreign environment. Uh, normally drivers, especially in other countries, can be really aggressive. Maybe your roads aren't marked as, as well. Um, so just take your time. Uh, yeah, you may end up getting to your destination 15 to 30 minutes slower, but it's a lot better than not getting there at all. You should also keep uh, windows and doors locked um, when driving in Latin America, especially stopping at red lights. Um, thieves have been known to drive up on motorbikes and hold drivers uh, kind of at hostage or at gunpoint if they have their windows down or smash out their windows and, and just reach in and grab stuff. And talking about transportation, uh, the biggest debate is definitely which is safer, an Uber or a taxi driver. I know this is something we argue about a lot at work. Um, I tend to think that Ubers are safer. Uh, a lot of my colleagues tend to think taxis are safer. For me, uh, taxi drivers are notoriously skeevy. They always try and rip tourists off and charge them more money. Uh, in an Uber driver, the, the rate is fixed. Uh, it'll tell you that rate before you go and you don't have to pay in cash. Uh, it's all credit So it also means a thief is less likely to use the uber platform because uh, you may not even have cash on you um, And you know, you're not going to be handing them cash at any point in time during the transaction Depending on where you go sometimes taxi drivers are vetted more carefully than uber drivers But I still think that you know a taxi driver has more opportunity to, to rip somebody off um, mostly because as an uber driver uh, I have to create a profile and, and get started with the company. Um, yes, I may not be background searched, but uh, my performance or my ability is, is rated by users. So if I'm you know, driving people away and not taking them to the proper destination and, and kidnapping them and holding them ransom, uh, obviously my profile is not going to be doing very well and I can probably only get away with doing that once or twice. Whereas a taxi driver, all they need is a taxi car and they can continue to do um, you know, what, whatever they want to do uh, for a while anyway, it's a little bit more opportune for them than uh, the Uber platform. Either way, when using those vehicles, either mode of transportation, keep your bags with you. Don't let the driver put them in the trunk. Just ask and say, hey, listen, I, I would prefer if I carry them with me. This way, if something does happen, uh, all you have to do is get out of the car. Uh, they're not holding any of your stuff. Um, and, and kind of it gives you more freedom to escape a situation if you feel uncomfortable. If you're going to get a taxi instead of Uber, uh, make sure you have a airport staff member, one of your hotel staff members, a local, uh, order you a taxi or, or you ask them whether the taxis are safe to use there. Um, I remember in, in Belize, for example, I just, you know, we had some leftover cookies. I offered them to a local and said, hey, listen, man, are the taxis good to go? And he said, yeah, absolutely, uh, you'll be fine. 
Um, that person doesn't have any incentive to lie to me. He would have told me the truth, obviously. Um, so then at that point, I know that the taxis are reliable and I can go ahead and get in one. Normally the locals will know better than anyone else. Which brings me to some of the tips that I have for people when they're tr actually you know, in transit and traveling. Um, and number one is don't be afraid to ask. Locals know the situation a lot better than uh, you may. And many times they are very friendly and always happy to help. Um, and if they aren't, someone else will. So feel free to ask questions. Um, you know, whoever you're staying with, whether that's at an Airbnb or a hotel, um, airport staff and security, uh, they're always happy to help, and my experience anyway, and you can get some good inside information on what not to do and what to do um, from them. When traveling, it's important to understand and expect that uh, something's not going to go as planned. You should be able to handle that. Um, and, and not get too high or low based on what's going to happen um, when traveling because you know something's going to go wrong. That means you're going to forget something in your hotel room, um, some, some, something might get stolen. Uh, just expect for that to happen and you know have a backup plan and, and, and try and be resilient about it. It'll make your trip a lot more enjoyable, but it'll also keep you safer because you're not going to be running around in a panic wondering what do I do next. Also understand that things are going to be different. The culture is obviously not going to be the same as it is at home. Um, and if you keep finding yourself, you know, oh, I, why isn't this like this or this isn't any good because it's not exactly like it was at home, um, then, you know, my opinion is anyway, why are you traveling to begin with? Do you want something that's just like at home? Don't leave. Um, because traveling is all about discovering new places and new things and understanding different cultures and learning more about yourself. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, when traveling and it'll help you keep you safe. Um, just know that things are going to be a little bit different. Expect some differences from your everyday life. I would always recommend that you remain connected in, in any way that you can. A lot of the times I like to travel cheap, right? I like to go to hostels and, and try and save money. But one thing I don't ever cheap out on is buying a local SIM card or finding a way to keep my mobile phone operating um, because that's very important. Obviously, if something bad were to go wrong, uh, I have you know, a limitless amount of options because I have the ability to get in contact with somebody to look up help, help or information that I may need to book another uh, ticket out of the country or, or whatever I need. Um, I have that ability because I have my phone and I can use it, it's connected. Okay, so when walking around or traveling around, um, expect to be approached by hustlers. Um, you know, normally a simple no will suffice. Uh, if not, just ask, say no again, please stop. Um, and, and most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, they will stop uh, because they're not there really to harass you. They just want to um, gain your business and once they figure out that that's not going to happen, they'll move on to the next person. When walking around, never keep important items uh, within available reach. That means uh, your front, uh, I mean your back pocket. Um, keep some things in your front pocket. It's harder for people to steal from them. Uh, if you have a backpack on, um, if you're sitting on public transportation, make sure you have your backpack on site and it's not just you know on your back. And don't keep important items in any of the outside pockets because it's easier for thieves to get access to those. Understand that when you're traveling in high touristy areas, uh, maybe you're out in front of the Coliseum or you're at another site somewhere, um, that's where thieves and pickpockets tend to congregate. Uh, they're in metro stations, so keep that in mind. Um, make sure you keep a little bit extra awareness of your stuff. Uh, when you're in those areas because that'll help limit you know the chance that you get pickpocketed or have something stolen. Uh, for any photographer, um, always I, I tend to always cover my camera's branding when traveling abroad because if I, they see that I have this really expensive camera that obviously again makes me a little bit more of a target. So I recommend just covering it up. I just use a piece of black electrical tape over the label and at least this makes it a little bit less of a target. Also when walking around, depending on where you are, there may be some stray animals and it may be very tempting to pet them. I know I've definitely done that. Um, but at all costs, try and avoid stray animals. Uh, many times in places, these animals may have rabies um, or, or some other disease that you definitely don't want to pick up. And while it's unlikely that that happens, uh, you just don't want to take a chance. So I would recommend avoiding uh, stray animals. Uh, avoid large crowds. So if you're walking down a street and you see a crowd of 200 to 300 people, uh, marching down you know, the road, angrily chanting, um, just move aside or, or go across to the other street. It may be tempting to go check it out. I know I have definitely been tempted to do so, 
Um, and normally I will actually and, and go ask locals, hey, what's going on? Um, but you never know, depending on where you are. A lot of times law enforcement uh, in local areas may not take too kindly to large crowds and may use crowd control methods to um, make them disperse. And you don't want to get caught up in that. So I would just recommend avoiding them. When enjoying nightlife, um, just be smart and follow the same precautions that you would if you were at home. I wouldn't take any necessary risks. Um, nothing bad is probably going to happen um, as long as you stay in your right mind as best you can and don't take any unnecessary risks that you wouldn't while you're at home. When you are traveling, make sure to stay in contact with somebody so that they know where you are. I know when I'm traveling places, especially if I know the area doesn't have the best reputation or I plan on kind of traveling off the beaten path a little, I'll make sure to stay in contact with someone, uh, set check-in times with them, and let them know where I am and where I'm going to be so that in case something does happen, I can either let them know really quickly or they'll know and they can alert somebody for me. And finally, uh, in just in case of the worst scenario, if you are being mugged or robbed, just give up your stuff. I know it's a pain. But in reality, that two or $3,000 camera or your backpack or whatever you have on you is not worth more than your life. For your housing, um, make sure you keep valuables locked up somewhere. So that means if you're in a hotel, uh, utilize the hotel safe. If you're in a hostel, I would recommend getting a lock um, for your bag. A lot of the times I'll just lock the bag handle around the bedpost of my bed or, or something even a little bit more sturdy, obviously, because someone might just be able to uh, lift up that bed. But this way, I know that my stuff is secure and safe. Um, where I am and it also means I'm not carrying it around with me in case something does happen I don't lose that stuff. Also if you guys are going to meet with somebody at your hotel maybe you have a business meeting or something just have them meet down in the lobby this way you can meet them face to face in a public place or public setting. Uh, if you invite somebody up to your room uh, you may not know who that is on the other side of the door knocking on it. It may be the person you invited but it may not be so I would just recommend obviously meeting with somebody you may never have before uh, in a public setting. And finally guys, I'm going to give you a list of some applications to use uh, that will make your traveling experience a lot better um, and also safer and more convenient. So first off, obviously Uber, um, and it's, many, it's one of the best ways to get around. Uh, in many countries it's a lot cheaper than a taxi. Um, I think it's safer. Just make sure that if you're going to use Uber as an option, that you make sure they uh, support the city or wherever you're going to be. Um, for example, I'm taking a trip to Morocco in a few weeks and they do support Casablanca but not the other cities in Morocco. Make sure you get some sort of uh, online messenger, so whether that's WhatsApp um, or if you have an iPhone iMessage to other iMessage users. It's a way to communicate quickly and effectively over the internet instead of needing to use um, that country's cell infrastructure which may not be as good. Um, and this way, if you don't have a way to make sure you have cell service, uh, at least you can message someone when you have internet. I know a lot of people do Wi-Fi hopping from different cafes and hostels and hotels. Um, I wouldn't recommend that, but if you do do that, make sure you have uh, the ability to communicate when you do have internet. Uh, Google is a lifesaver. So first start with Google Maps. Um, you can download the areas that you're going to be in an offline mode ahead of time. So before your trip, make sure you do that so that you have the ability to type in an address or a location um, and get there. Uh, safely and effectively without the need for connectivity if you don't have it. A staple is obviously Google Translate. Um, this is really useful not just for um, voice to uh, translation but also for pictures. You can take a picture of a menu for example if it's in another area or a sign at a metro stop if you're not sure where you are and it'll translate that for you. So super useful. I can't tell you how many times this has saved my neck when traveling so I definitely recommend it. Another application that's important, especially for money, is XE currency converter. Uh, so this will save the currency converting rates uh, offline for you so that you have access to them all the time. So if you need to quickly calculate how much something actually costs in US dollars, you can do so. Um, but if you are connected, it'll give you the most up-to-date rates so you know if someone's offering to exchange currency with you, if they're giving you a good rate or not. You can download FlightAware to keep track of your uh, any, any flights you may need uh, to have, whether they're going to be delayed or canceled. Normally that's a pretty good app uh, to use that. And finally, uh, for check-in applications, uh, there's two different options. You can go with SafeTrek or BeSafe. Um, they both follow the same premise pretty much. Uh, SafeTrek is actually something that um, basically it's like a check-in application and if you don't check in, it'll alert the local authorities. Um, the only problem is it is a paid application. I think it costs two or three dollars a month. So you know maybe if you're not traveling all the time, you don't need it. But if you are traveling pretty frequently, it's a good thing to look into. Um, Be safe is something that you know if you have it on your phone, 
whoever you designate to check in with has it on their phone. You can stay in contact with them, let them know uh, when you're in trouble. If you miss a check-in time, then obviously they'll know and they can alert somebody. I hope these tips uh, really helped you. Uh, make sure if you need me to uh, clarify any of them, you comment down below and ask any questions. Um, if you need any further recommendations, feel free to comment them down below or contact me through my website. If you guys are traveling somewhere and you're not really sure of the location and you, and you want some advice, um, I can definitely help provide that to you. Uh, again, I do this for a living. Um, so even if I haven't necessarily been to that country, good chance uh, that I know somebody who has and I've supported somebody who has, uh, so I know a good amount about the country. And finally, if you want to see more uh, tips like this, as well as following me along on my adventures, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have safe travels.